for this welterweight championship fight. Diaz is seven years his senior. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 12 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, presenting the challenger, Nate Diaz! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 18 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC Walter White Champion of the World, Leon Rocky Edwards. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? Sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. All right, just getting landed by this man. Oh! Oh, he might be out. And he landed the right hand there. Shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the torch. Oh! News hurt. Oh! Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked though by Diaz. Oh! Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Nice straight punch. That is a hard left hand that lands for Leon Edwards, and as usual, DC let this fight do the talking to him. Let this fight do the talking, and he's all business. He, he's a businessman. He's here to win, go back to England, and do his thing with his family. He's not going to be on TV hooping and hollering. He's a guy that's here to do his job and then go back home until he gets tired. Well, 25 total strikes have landed for Leon Edwards. Two minutes to go in the round. Single collar tie now. Great punch. Blocks the shot. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Flush right hand is true. Misses again with a right punch. Nice jab by Diaz. Got the single collar tie. 
Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, beautiful shot there with the hook. I'm not sure his opponent saw that one come. His opponent Edwards gets the double leg takedown. Nice job there disguising his entry. Oh! And this might just be a matter of time. there just as the horn sounded safe to say he was saved by the bell there so back to the stools they go 60 seconds to recover here we're gonna fight on ladies and gentlemen another round coming up all right so there's the end of the round and on one side thrill on the other agony after that knockdown yeah he was able to really damage him with that big punch you see the hands the speed how sharp he is how technical he is it allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed. Great punch landed to put his opponent down. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? Go All right. Back. Round two. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Diaz. There was a lead elbow, so he's mixing everything up. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Diaz. Edwards gets caught by the elbow there. You know he's tough but you just don't want to absorb too many more of those. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. Oh! He's turn on the elbow, and he's going to chase the submission finish. Submission beautifully executed there on the ground. It's a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. Well, it's one thing to earn a UFC title. It's another thing to get it done emphatically the way he did tonight. The undisputed UFC welterweight champion, your winner by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, four seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. And new. So there is a new world order at 170 pounds. Congrats to the new UFC welterweight champion of the world. I can't say I'm surprised. We've seen this guy on his journey to this championship at every step. He looked fantastic. And tonight, that continued in dethroning the long-reigning champion.